On the agenda tonight, we're going back to 1959. We're going to be taking a look at Joe Mathis and Larry Collins, and they're going to be performing Ramrod. <laughs> Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So, we have a very young Larry Collins here and it's a short video in and around maybe three minutes. So we'll watch it the whole way through and then we'll get into the analysis after. But let's see how they get on. What you like to do? Well, what I play an instrumental this time called Ramrod. Ramrod? Yeah, Joe, want to play with me? Sure. Okay. What's your pick? Ramrod. Huh? Ramrod? Now look, don't get it too fast, boy. The old man can't keep up with you, so. Oh. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> huh? Oh, come on, let's do it. One, two. Yeah. Oh, it don't work. <laughs> wow. Should I tell a joke? I don't know nothing. <laughs> It'll work in a minute. We'll just talk a few thousand words, huh? I think it'll work now. There we go. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> And there we have it. I mean, that is a performance. I mean, first of all, the fact that the mix that we have here is so heavy on Larry's guitar. So it means that you've got, I mean, this kid effectively, which, you know, playing a guitar and normally when you have a performance and there's a younger performer, you know, Generally, the rest of the band are going to pick up a lot of the slack, which means that you're going to have a mix that is heavy with the other band members. So the bass that Joe's playing would be high in the mix. The drums would be high in the mix. The piano would be high in the mix. And the kid playing the guitar will be in there, but just a little bit lower than everybody else. So that the consistency and the overall sound that you get is the professionals, the adults in the band. But this is why it is so impressive is because Larry's guitar is the focus 
everyone else is behind his guitar. Again, the guitar sound is so clean. So it means that Larry's technique has got to be spot on because that's all we're hearing pretty much. I mean, if you've got a sub, you, you might be able to hear the bass. Certainly, I think if you're listening to this on a phone or a tablet, you probably won't be able to hear really what Joe's playing. They also turn off the mic on stage as soon as they start playing. So it's just this guitar that you're hit with, but it is great. But it's great to focus in on Larry, this confidence that he's got, uh, his guitar playing ability. We will bust out the guitar in a second, but I do know that we've looked at the Collins kiss before on the channel here somewhere. There'll be a video that you can check out independently, but just having this kind of comfort on stage and obviously being used to doing that from a young age certainly helps, but it's the playing, the ability level, because it's not just the case that it's a super clean tone and that his, his playing is really tight. You know, his timing, I mean, this is another thing, the timing, because he is the main instrument in the mix, it means that his timing has to be spot on. Imagine if he was slightly out with the drummer, you, you wouldn't get that tight sound at all. So there are levels of this that are just really accomplished. And you, you might get some kids who learn a particular piece and can play it really well. And, you know, I'm sure that Larry has played this hundreds if not thousands of times exactly the same way as he does here but it's then getting the tightness getting the, the phrasing and getting everything sitting in exactly the right place when you're playing rhythm because that's effectively what Larry is doing here when Joe then goes off into his bass line you know He's just hitting his chord, stopping it, hitting his chord, stopping it. But it is so tight as a performance, especially for somebody so young. So let's jump into it from the beginning and just see what's going on with the guitar. But just a little bit of it. This is not going to be an instructional video, but let's see what Larry gets up to. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. So I'm not going to be doing the legs. <laughs> I mean, just playing this and moving around so much is impressive as well. But we start, actually, the thing to notice is, is when we have this counting, we go from uh, downstrokes. And Larry's doing that all. And then when he goes into the D, effectively, and he changes from the, all of those downstrokes into a and then he now kind of keeps that going so we get a little bit more of a bounce in there you know like that and it's quite you know free and it's free but there is a particular limit that you would go to like there on the A kind of want to focus on the, the lower string obviously to get that G in there with that second finger but going over to the high E string for example you're, you're not going that far up to there yeah because then it's going to sound a bit weird that's what happens when you bar that first finger which is you know we can see a good angle here which is what Larry's using for this so we have this this bounce obviously lots of moving around, kicking of, of legs, and uh, then over to that D, you know. Um, I think there's like an E with a seventh place in there, then we go over to the D, oh maybe it's the same with the D. Maybe going down to the seventh again, and then we have the little Run. Let me see how we make our way. Okay, we just have this stop and then slide yeah, up to our A position. And we have this classic little... 
kind of Chuck Berry rundown, once you've done your slide, something like that, and then once you're back down to that open A string, you'll start, and there might even be a subtle pinch on there, I think I was doing that before, that I didn't mention, but in order to get that same sound, and the same thing when we get over to the D. Kind of like that. You know, to get a similar thing. But, I mean, all of this stuff like sliding and, you know, doing a little run like that <laughs> is great, considering that he's not just sitting down and focusing on the playing and making sure that he's getting it all technically you know, correct and not making any mistakes. He's putting on a show, he's jumping around, he's kicking his legs around, but still nailing the technique. That's why it's so impressive. is impressive is when we are, are, are coming up the fretboard here generally I mean when players are younger they don't go straight into playing bar chords you know playing bar chords over the top like this let alone playing what is effectively a bar chord with a thumb over the top and again from this still you can see that Larry is already at this age having his thumb over the top so that I mean opens up uh, the doors to lots of advanced ways of playing because it means that now you've got your root note on the low E string and no matter where you move that shape you're still going to get your root note and the important part about that is because if you're playing you know a, a line you can place in your root note without having to kind of play your lead and then get your first finger over to play a bar, you're already there. And then you could tell there with his You know, his strums and then the palm muting, getting those stops in there. When I said about being tight, that is it. Just being spot on with the drummer. And obviously this is now allowing Joe to do his little bass solo. But it's just a bit of a deeper element in there that it's not just a kid playing guitar and it's, it's not a novelty. It's just real musicianship going on. The way that... Larry is getting these full bar chord shapes, you know, up by his 12th fret. Maybe the advantage of being a kid is that you've got very small hands, so you can fit your fingers between those frets, but have a listen. So that kind of thing, where he's up... He's actually doing... He's still doing that, that strumming motion with the right hand, you know, downstrokes and upstrokes and same thing there and then kind of works his way back down again but I mean it's all just really impressive I mean this isn't the kind of thing that you just pick up the guitar and start playing and you know sliding and doing runs and going down and you know having that freedom with the right arm as well I think there's a little run at the end <laughs> So now we're really pushing that tempo. Yeah. <laughs> and that really deliberate ending again. That kind of slide. Um, and he kind of does a little bend with that first finger as well, ending on the, actually the A with the, yeah, it's a seventh, a seventh chord to finish with. So, 
Yeah, again, th these are the kinds of things that playing that that seventh at the end, especially in the bar chord position, is quite an advanced shape. It's not something that you go straight into. You just see exactly where his hand is. Yeah, so that's what I mean. It might even be a... He might have been playing it like that. It still does look like he's got his thumb over the top. Maybe it's an optical illusion, but it does look like, you know, he'd be doing that, which is even more advanced. Generally, you'll kind of work your way through your chord like that. When you then start getting used to that, then you can start to stick that seventh at the top there as well. But yeah, just really impressive. I think the main thing about this performance is just, it makes you smile and it's entertaining and it's what music's all about, you know, especially with the younger generation here, with you know, Joe getting involved on bass and just enjoying music, enjoying playing, because this is very much one of those videos and performances where you're looking at Larry and you're thinking that this kid is not being forced to play the guitar. It's not his parents that want him to learn it and he's not really that interested. He is passionate about playing and you know that comes across. But thank you guys for suggesting this particular video for me to take a look at. And as always, keep those suggestions and requests coming in the comments section below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock!